The Canon was molded on the first ever single fin that I hand shaped back in about 1999. It's an earlier version of where the Hypto Crypto came from. And I guess the main feature of this board is the fact that it's got this double concave deck line out the tail. That allows you to carry a lot of volume through the center of the board. So when you're sort of getting through the carve, you get a lot to push back on, but you get a lot of grip and sensitivity out through the rail line. So it also creates this diamond kind of effect with the V across the bottom and the V across the deck. It allows the board to roll rail to rail, but with the paneling and this kind of angle, you can really lean against it on your back foot. So it's the type of board that you can really enjoy riding in, you know, all types of conditions, small stuff to, you know, almost double overhead sort of waves. And that's where Craig's really liked to push this board. He's found a connection with the board where he finds the flow and is able to put this board into some pretty serious waves. And that's because of the hold that it has. It's got really subtle concaves. I enjoy riding the Canon around the 510. I'm five foot eight tall. So a couple inches longer than where you sort of are in terms of height. And I like to ride it with a lot of volume. So two and three quarters thick. It sort of has a lot of volume under the chest, but with that rail line, it still has a lot of sensitivity up in the back foot and you don't lose any connection with the wave face.